and welcome to the Horoscope Vault, a podcast that explores the week ahead through the lens of astrology with a view to supporting you in making the most confident decisions throughout your life's chapters. I'm Charlie, a fourth year associate member of the American Federation of Astrologers and astrology reader for radio's The Bob and Sherry Show. And this episode is for the week beginning February the 4th, which packs so much air and earth element energy that things have to get weird in order to get structured. A sign change for Mercury into Aquarius and a new moon in the same sign, which is all about rejection. Plus, you'll want to watch out for two points of tension and this episode dives into it all. I'll forecast using the sun in your sign as the first house point of the chart, which is called the solar charting method. But if you do know your actual birth time, we can look at your specific timeline of major events and changes with a personalised audio reading. You'll receive a private file with your very own podcast that's tailored to your exact birth chart. It's great for discovering what astrology offers for you, and it's best if you give no specifics or questions up front, and simply allow me to share what the chart indicates, with a chance to go through a Q&A session after. Unearth your upcoming chapters for a more illuminated journey ahead, and try it out. The link is below. This is a highly Aquarius week, with Mercury moving into the progressive sign of technology and futuristic developments, plus the new moon happening in Aquarius, opening a fresh greater lunar cycle, which, if you've already heard the moon manifesting episode over on the Horoscope Vault Patreon channel, you'll know that this indicates a season to materialise precise goals based on a very specific theme. And it's really only matters of that theme that can be brought to fruition. So if you didn't catch that episode, it's only available on the Patreon audio platform. I'll put the link to that in the show notes below. In general, this is the week things are bound to get a little bit strange. And strangeness and weirdness isn't bad. I think everything's been kind of weird for what it feels like a very long time. So it's more about the quality of weirdness, given that at this point, Shifts and changes that are extremely unusual are practically a given in this life. Aquarius is the sign of knowing. It's the sign the sun is in from around January the 20th to February the 18th. And it's ruled by the planet Uranus in modern astrology and Saturn in traditional astrology. This is the sign of genius and sudden insight, but not necessarily for the sun in that sign placement. When the sun is in Aquarius, it is uncomfortable because it's in its opposing energy domain. The sun is connected to the sign of Leo and Leo is exactly 180 degrees away. So it's in opposition to Aquarius. So this is an antagonistic dynamic. It's almost like the sun in Aquarius, there's a challenge to get the matters of the mind and understanding from inside to outside. Because when in this sign, there's this kind of attraction to the excitement of the unknown remaining unknown. It's the enjoyment of an unfinished puzzle in its process. It's the pleasure of figuring something out and enjoying the path, not really concerned with the final destination. When the sun is in Aquarius, whether it's for a person's natal chart or for the season. There's a happy delight in hypotheses and theory over practice. But for most of the other signs, when they move through this innovative water-bearing sign of knowledge, it's proactive and productive. It's the freedom to be weird, to stay weird, and to ride the Aquarian waves of thought into the future. And that is especially valid in this week's astrology when Mercury enters Aquarius on the 5th of February. Mercury is literally the planet of intelligence and everything associated with the mind. And where the sun is in its detriment, it's uncomfortable in Aquarius. Mercury is elevated. It's not just comfortable, it's like a rock star prodigy hybrid. If you don't know your personal Mercury sign, I've included a calculator below where you input your birth data and it tells you which sign your natal Mercury is in. 
And then you can check out the full rundown of what that means in the Mercury Through the Signs episode over on the Patreon channel. And whether your personal Mercury placement is in Aquarius or not, this is still the best position for it as a transit, as a collective, happening from this week onwards through to February the 23rd. So that's roughly 18 days of spectacular and sublime thinking faculties. 18 days of absolute connection to thought and mind, and more important, 18 days of visionary future-based mental activity and logic. Each sign will direct this rational thought process in a specific way, which will be detailed in each individual sign horoscope. And for the full rundown of the entire trip Mercury makes through Aquarius, with every possible outcome based on your sign, click the Mercury in Aquarius horoscopes below. As Mercury makes its move freshly into a new sign, it does make a conjunction to Pluto in Aquarius, which has probably been the most talked about astrology shift of this year so far. There's a whole episode on Pluto in Aquarius, which is linked below in the show notes. And really what comes of Mercury making its kind of side by side, same sign, same degree conjunction with this pivotal position of Pluto is a reborn awareness. It's about a moment of reviving a point of understanding that you can turn into life's journey to do with handling limitations and kind of transferring those limitations into a positive adventure. And it's not just that you can, it's that actually you kind of have to because obstacles are a given. If you didn't already know that, then these last few years may have taught you so. Restrictions and barriers are a very natural part of life and the key to satisfaction and success is in selecting your limitations consciously and carefully. It's almost like if you choose your own disciplines and electively opt in for struggle somewhere, somehow, you almost remove the designation of struggle that comes directly to you, put upon you from the universe. This initially sounds odd, but it's the concept of picking your battles, as they say, being discriminating, selecting what is worth fighting for, which is quite a noble thing. And this conjunction lets you fight for a purpose and enjoy pressure by choosing a meaningful path to evolve on, which arrives as a reborn future based idea, something that you're trying again, developing on Monday. And if you didn't choose it yourself, then this may show up as something being removed from your life because you were incorrectly procrastinating on one thing, the one thing that you want most, for the thing that you thought you needed in the now. Midweek, Venus in Capricorn trine, Uranus in Taurus could offer a pleasant surprise. A coincidence shows up, which is always nice. When you think of something and it happens, or in this case, thanks to Venus involvement, where you desire something, and then suddenly the path to it opens up, you kind of get this buzz of excitement. Romantically, relationships might go through a little bit of instability, but it's less problematic and more like growing pains or for the benefit of adjusted alignment and a better relationship overall. This could be getting your acts together if you are in a romantic connection, or this works for business connections too. With this alongside Mars in Capricorn, sextile, Neptune in Pisces, you could get your personal motivations in line, which works to filter out those who will be coming with you into this next chapter from those who will not. In some circumstances, there may be a very positive mystical experience, some kind of revelation or sign that works as being extra affirmative. At its worst, this is a little bit of caution to resist temptation or to resist procrastinating. It's better to work a little harder on getting things done ahead of time, just in case something does come along and causes delay. The week continues with the Sun in Aquarius square, Uranus in Taurus, which points to the surfacing of a surprise. This is the first point of tension because the surprise kind of catches you off guard or throws your experience into a different direction. It's not a negative experience. It's one that is just kind of picking you up and reorienting you for the purpose of continued progress. Maybe this surprise is the basis for the new moon cycle that opens on Friday, happening in Aquarius at 20 degrees and 40 minutes. The theme of this new moon is about a last ditch effort. 
It's the end game point somewhere. It's the last resort, the final attempt at something. And this greater lunar cycle is a six month space for manifesting. You can learn more about the specifics of the lunar six month manifesting in the episode link below. You essentially have from now until August this year where you give something in your life one final shot and you really make a commitment to explore every possible option for change or to find solution within that space. It involves dedication and meticulous planning. It may even involve circling back to the beginning of a process or a previous point to kind of recheck things over. Whatever it is you're going back over, back to or back through again requires willingness to thoroughly consider every corner of possibility. The condition here is that when you go through this redo or rerun or final chance at something, things must be done your way, free of the influence of anyone else. And others will likely see this individuality as an act of rebellion, or they may regard you as being weird. And if that's the case, then you're doing this next cycle perfectly correct. If you want to master the lunar manifestation cycles, this one and every other one that's going to happen in 2024, making the most of each six month window, I've put the link below to an e-guide. Each greater lunar cycle opens with a new moon in a particular sign, and then it closes with a full moon in that same sign six months later. It acts as these kind of bookends where you get to create the story in between. And there's always a specific theme, like with this one being the last attempt at something. And those themes are based on the lunar degree plus the aspects, which this ebook lays out so that you can correctly work with those themes. And it's like being on target instead of just guessworking or stabbing in the dark. So if you get kind of perplexed by the very repetitive, it's a new moon, it's time to set intentions posts, or the full moon prompts on social media saying that you need to let something go that all seem to be very generic because pop astrology online does not miss a chance to say new moon, new goals, full moon, release that which doesn't serve you. With these posts giving no clarity on how, why or what specifically to do, then the 2024 manifesting e-guide is for you. And of course, every new moon episode, I'll explain the theme on the show, like with this one. But If you want to have all of that info at your fingertips before it actually happens to really be extra prepared, then this ebook is how you can do that. The week ends with Mercury in Aquarius square Jupiter in Taurus, which is the second point of tension. It's very important to maintain a balanced perspective because there is a slight tendency for overly optimistic thinking, which leads the mind off track from the kind of more necessary details. You may be feeling really confident about something that if you voice it, others take that confidence the wrong way. So keeping yourself to yourself is the best option. It can be tempting to share positive news or constructive information or anything that feels good and beneficial, but it's not always welcome. And it's not always celebrated either. The hopeful and cheery gift with words that this brings can be helpful if you direct into sales, creative writing, and any imaginative work or efforts to really get the most out of this celestial mood. Otherwise, outside of that, then the less said the better because words can miss the mark and sometimes it's better to say less and let this time just pass by. Each individual horoscope is timestamped below for your convenience. This week for Aries starts out with a social situation or a group situation that results in some remarkable ideas. It's a casual conversation about your general future that shows up and can turn into super inspirational experiences. As your mind lights up with all kinds of positive and intelligent thought processes that could really support the idea that something big is about to develop for you. These ideas that you come up with may be more unconventional, which is great if you're trying to figure out solutions to some tricky things. And if you're not problem solving, then you could be drawn to unique, original and almost futuristic concepts that turn out to be pretty important with regards to your life ahead. Dive into technology too this week, if that's of interest, because outside of chats with friends in a more immediate environment, you could connect via the World Wide Web in a way that revolutionises your current position. On the topic of the internet, it could be worth doing a security update. 
if you've used the same old passwords for a long time, then it could be worth revisiting those for some extra level safeguarding. And this also kind of prefaces a little online spending spree, maybe. And it could be a good idea to get one of those cards that you can toggle on and off that allows you to have complete control on all outgoings. That way, any random disheartening debits from your account don't happen. And you can really understand how the little things add up to the larger things when it comes to spending or surprise withdrawals. I've included a link below for a card that can be kind of kept on side and used for things like monthly subscriptions for apps and software, Netflix, those kind of things, or just online shopping and keeping all of those intricate outgoings both safe and all together in one place. This is a great week for studying something high octane, whether physical or mental. It's about getting your teeth into something and maybe it could be to do with an idea that recently arrived. If physical, it could be sporting related. You hold nothing back this week and even at the cost of you putting others' noses out of joint, rightly so, this isn't about being compromising or passive. It's pretty much advised that you don't be compromising or passive. In the process of taking risks to better your experience, some people are naturally going to be upset at your quick rate of change. The new moon and its omen of this being kind of a last resort is about the final attempt at making a dream you've been sitting on into a reality. This has the best chance of manifesting through connection with somebody new that you could meet over the next six months. There's a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. If you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and don't want to wait for the moon episodes each month, this book is crafted with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximise your manifestation efforts in synchrony. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Libra. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Aries. It details the more material experiences that are unfolding. And then there is the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. And this happens three months before birth, the final trimester. For you, this is Capricorn. And listening to this horoscope gives you a more behind the scene views of what's going on for you. If you know your rising sign, that's going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below for you to plug in your birth date and time, and it'll let you know your rising sign to check out that horoscope too. This week for Taurus, more conversations about your career show up. And if it's not direct communication about professional matters, you'll spend a lot of time thinking about them, mainly about how you can get from where you are to where you want to be. This is taking the bigger picture perspective and is a great week for making long-term plans with a firm understanding of what you do and don't need to do that allows you to make a much more practical approach to situations. Put pen to paper and do some writing these next few days. Or if there's a pending important conversation, especially with a boss, a parent or an older masculine energy, mark out a day this week for you to bring up whatever it is you need to bring up. You may find yourself sidetracked at some point by something that goes haywire or something that goes missing. This could be a lapse in accounting and finances where you wonder how the number is what it is and have to do a little bit of backtracking while recalculating where everything went and where everything is going. But any little missed detail is resolved pretty quickly. Some new friends could appear or have recently appeared in your life and they open up your mind and horizons to new opportunities or options. In fact, your friends could feel like the most rewarding area of life right now, especially the ones that encourage you to get involved in groups or activities outside of your usual realm. There are changes happening domestically or privately that seem to be forcing you out of a comfort zone and out into the world a little bit more. Private news in your personal realm could come to light. And while it may be either or fun or maybe upsetting, its purpose is to destabilise you where you are in order to propel you towards where you're supposed to be going next. Whether that's a literal change of environment or a new connection that's waiting in the wings for you to be ready and take seriously. The new moon is happening in your soul sign. So there's a fresh cycle beginning with the theme of one last chance where your professional life manifestations are the most powerful. 
There's a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. So if you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and don't want to wait for each new moon podcast episode, the book is crafted with a vision of preparing you and giving much more detail than the regular new moon posts, preparing you ahead of time so you can maximize your efforts in synchrony. This cycle for you is giving one last shot at a specific career direction. And the caveat is you're going to have to make friends with technology to do so. Thanks to being in this evolving web driven world. The bonus part is there is so much untapped potential in remote work and online careers that you can literally pick anything you want and make it happen. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your earth sign, which is Scorpio. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Taurus. It details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there's the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. And this happens three months before birth, the final trimester. For you, this is Aquarius. And listening to this horoscope gives a more behind the scenes view of what's happening. And if you do know your rising sign, that's going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below for you to plug in your birth date and time, letting you know your rising sign to look at that horoscope too. This week for Gemini, conversations revolve around sharing stories of experience. You could be speaking up about your personal life encounters, as well as hearing others talk about theirs. This is how wisdom is passed along from person to person, and is an exciting month for you of learning new things from different perspectives, as well as lessening any burdens on your shoulders, or helping others out through the things you have to verbally offer. It's worth adding that learning something in the tech realm is vitally important, so I urge you to explore interests in those areas. Online and remote work is growing and is something of great skill to a Gemini if you can find your area of specialty interest. It doesn't have to be all coding and numbers. It could be podcasting, writing, teaching online, translating, cybersecurity, and so many other things. Your concentration and focus are heightened and you can be exceptionally persuasive. So anything in sales might interest you, as may learning more about psychology. There may also be a secret that you're currently keeping that you're not ready to tell anyone. Some organisational tasks have recently been overlooked and you'll have the energy and drive to tackle those this week. Organising outgoings is especially highlighted and organising any paperwork that is of legal or extreme importance. An investment that involves collaboration and it's not just monetary investment, you could be investing brain power on a project in collaboration with someone else. It begins to see some momentum very soon. Within this, there could be a lot of changes that feel fast paced and erratic. So make sure you have a way to decompress at the end of the day. Things don't go in an orderly fashion and you can get thrown off track by some unexpected detours this week. So try allow the flow to take you where it needs to as best possible. The new moon brings a fresh perspective that grows over the next six months. This is a renewed outlook that sparks the initiation of new chapters. Within this cycle, you may opt to return into education somehow or venture into a more spiritual journey. There's a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. If you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast each month, then this book is crafted perfectly with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximise your efforts in synchrony. This cycle for you is giving one last shot at making things work within a particular location. In preparation for spreading your wings and soaring off to somewhere else next year. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Sagittarius. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Gemini. It details the more material experiences that are unfolding. And then there's the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. This happens three months before birth, the final trimester. For you, this is Pisces. And listening to this horoscope gives a more behind the scenes view of what's happening for you. And if you know your rising sign, then that's going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below so you can plug in your birth date and time. And it'll let you know your rising sign to listen to that horoscope as well. This week for cancer, it's time to use your deep, investigative research, talents and skills. You can become a master of information and or 
information technology. There are going to be frequent references to tech because of the shifts currently being so progressive. But during this time, you may talk more about subjects that you want to get to the bottom of. You may be invested in the dynamic of information and misinformation. And small talk, shallow kind of chat doesn't do anything for you. You crave conversations of substance and meaning. And if this is not being literally talkative, you could dive into exploring some isolated, necessary skills that support your next step. This isn't going into full-on education. This is about isolating the specifics of what you need to know or learn in order to improve your current quality of life or even your health. And then focus on those fine details, mastering the info and extracting the knowledge that is deeply important to your advancement. This is a phase of mental transformation. It's important that whatever you're working on or whatever you discover, you don't share with others, nor do you try to help them with the discoveries you make. It's your natural tendency to want to help the other, whomever that may be. But that's not it right now. You've got some recovering to do from overgiving of yourself for years. Plus, when you share info, a lot of people can be quite dismissive, whether that's you excitedly sharing your plans or positively sharing information that you think could help someone out. So leave the unsupportive and ungrateful types to figure it out for themselves. And don't feel guilty in keeping what you know to yourself and using it to your advantage. New connections help you further your career and old friendships fade into the background. This is just the way things are going. Don't read any more into it than shifting situations. What unfolds next could lead you to assuming a new professional position. This happens effortlessly. So if there is something you want to apply for, this week is a great time to do so. There are some unexpected expenses that could show up during this period. So to minimise any disruption to your budget, understand that there is a certain level of financial instability, but also do your best to plan ahead. Push back bills that allow you to do so and cut any spending that is more superficial where you don't really get much in return. The new moon starts a six-month cycle that is born out of surviving a recently difficult period since August last year. There's a lot of healing indicated in areas of wellness and wealth. This is a clean-up phase. And with the theme of it being the last resort, it hints at getting all of your resource-based ducks in a row regarding things that may be looming over you and preventing the next step being taken. There is a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. And if you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play, and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast episode each month, then this book is crafted with the vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximise your efforts in synchrony and know exactly what to do, how to set intentions, and why. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Capricorn. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Cancer. And it details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there's a soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. This happens three months before birth, during the final trimester. For you, this is Aries. And listening to this horoscope gives a more behind-the-scenes view of what's happening for you. And if you know your rising sign, then that's going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below. You can plug in your birthday and time, and it'll let you know your rising sign so you can listen to that horoscope too. This week for Leo, your communication skills shine in the more one-on-one -on -one interactions of life. You could be more or less chatty with those closest to you, and group conversations are not the most comfortable. You prefer face-to-face, -face, individual engagements. This is a great time for bouncing ideas about the future off of someone that you are close with, maybe even a long-term partner. And you can work on improving existing relationships or you may find a collaborative opportunity arises. Keeping in mind skills of negotiation, mediation and compromise. So if you're making a sale, handling contracts and resolving disputes, then this is the week to really throw yourself into those. Or if you're somehow in sales as a job or looking to buy something, then your gift with words can get you the results you desire. Someone in your vicinity so that's work or personal, maybe playing a few little mind games with you. This could include someone withholding information and you feel it beneath the surface. You feel like something important is being held back.
but this resolves itself or reveals itself in the near future around March 9th or 10th. There's a chance of more recognition coming to you at work or just more income in that space. And that could come with a sale, promotion or an elevation of status. While you're firmly involved in the physical world right now, don't ignore the spiritual realm. Dive into the philosophical aspects of self-development. Exercise your mind and body in ways that bring peace and presence. Being more in the now is important, so getting outside and being in nature could do the trick. This is a noteworthy time frame where the trajectory of your life could take a sudden turn. You appreciate freedom, you appreciate independence, so anything that's inhibiting those feels like too much. This sudden turn or sudden shift might pose challenges in your relationships with others, and with the new moon in your sign of significant relationships, it activates new beginnings in those commitments. This might bring a deepening of connections with a business partner, a best friend, or a romantic partner. It could be a change in dynamic with something or someone you've had quite the history with, marking the commencement of a fresh six-month journey with one last chance at making things work. There's a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. If you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play, and you don't want to wait for the new moon episode each month, this book is crafted with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximise your efforts in synchrony and know exactly what, why and how to use these cycles. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Aquarius. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the Sun was in Leo. It details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there's the Soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. And this happens three months before birth, the final trimester. For you, this sign is Taurus, and listening to this horoscope gives you a more behind-the-scenes view of what's happening for you. And if you know your rising sign, then that is going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below, plug in your birthday and time, and it will let you know your rising sign to listen to that horoscope too. This week for Virgo, your mental focus shifts towards making your work life, and actually your everyday life much more efficient. So handling projects and tasks can become more seamless if you master your organisation, which in turn improves your productivity. This is a great time for you if you're involved in writing, communication, technology. You can quite safely expect more writing or paperwork heading your way. And generally this time is ripe for positive discussions related to your work, along with more involvement and use of technology than usual. This is a sign of your job becoming busy and bustling. Make sure not to overdo it, which could have an impact on your nervous system. If there are any health changes going on, niggling symptoms and such, consider getting a checkup or make healthy plans to enhance your wellness through positive dietary changes. And it's best to opt for small adjustments like adding in a protein bar or a protein shake or a multivitamin or some similarly health focused snack or addition to your diet and going from there. Anything that is considered brain food is great for you based on how much mental power your body will be using this week. Knowledge is power so support your brain as best possible with all the healthy vitamins and some good fats. There could be an avenue to advance in career that shows up soon because of something that you are a master at doing. Your speaking and writing skills can be very powerful and they have an impact on others which works to propel your professional life forwards. And as with any increase in pace, especially job-wise, the desire for thrill and adventure and recreational time also increases. And yet, completely getting away from it all and letting your hair down may not be feasible anytime soon. With that in mind, you can use this mental energy to get ahead of things and deal with taxes or paperwork or things that you know are coming, things that are looming. And you may as well get them done and out of the way now, which includes catching back up with any unfinished business that you previously procrastinated on. The new moon brings new beginnings in your work and wellness space. And the whole week seems to be all about inspiring you to improve your quality of life and quality of work. Follow any desire you have to implement healthy routines into your schedule to make your wellness a priority. And with the theme of this new moon being the last resort, this is an indication of six months of making those things of the most top quality and priority. 
really treating your body and mind like a temple. There's a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024 if you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast episode to come out each month. The book is crafted with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximise your efforts in synchrony. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Pisces. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Virgo. It details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there's the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. And this happens to be three months before birth, the final trimester. For you, this sign is Gemini. And listening to this horoscope gives you more behind the scenes kind of view of what's happening for you. And if you know your rising sign, then that's going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below, plug in your birthday and time, and it'll let you know your rising sign to listen to that horoscope as well. This week for Libra, your creativity is at an all-time high, as are your urges and desires to let loose and have fun. Focusing on important mundane and routine tasks could be quite challenging as you're drawn more towards playful activities. You feel more sociable and have a wildly witty sense of humour right now and you really want the free space to focus on having a good time. To satisfy that energy, consider a hobby or dedicating some time to an old hobby that you haven't had much time to dive into. If you are not in a relationship, this could indicate meeting someone unusual. This person may also be a bit younger than you as well. If you are in a relationship, prioritise date night and get out and about together. If you have children, they might need to talk to you about their feelings or something this week, or they share some quirky and interesting thoughts with you. The idea of travel may be on your mind, and any kind of travelling can deeply, deeply influence your perspective, leading to moments where you ponder life and you're left with a new, more expanded view as a result. You may be more easily influenced now, and that's not to say anything other than choose wisely what that influence is. If you are aware that you are particularly absorbent this week, what information do you want to absorb? What information would bring you the ultimate most benefit if you take it on board? Imagine your mind is like a sponge, in which case be very selective about what you immerse it in. A windfall, which is either recent or pending, is about using what you gain to make your current standing better. This could be money that made its way to you that's best used for paying off debt or investing towards your future. And you can find very little resistance from external situations or people on that matter. It's kind of like things are on your side and you can really progress with clearing obstacles out of your path that may have been hindering you moving forward. In the process of this, connections with and support from old friends may no longer be available. The changes in your life right now may be ones that you're meant to navigate independently outside of your regular social circle. The new moon in Aquarius opens a six month space for new projects that could elevate your entire experience. If you've been wanting to start something new and haven't had the time or the motivation, then that changes this week. And maybe it's not something brand new. Maybe it's something you've been chewing over for personal satisfaction that could also double as generating income. And this is the new moon that presents a favorable opportunity for you to grow that project into a fully formed idea. If you're looking to expand your family or start a fresh chapter with existing family and children, then that's also a potential too. There is a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024 if you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast episode each month, then this book is crafted with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximize your efforts in synchrony. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Aries. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Libra. And it details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there is the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. And this happens three months before birth, the final trimester. For you, this sign is Cancer. And listening to that horoscope gives a more behind the scenes view of what's happening for you. If you know your rising sign, then that's really going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below for you to plug in your birth date and time, and it will let you know your rising sign for you to listen to that horoscope too. This week for Scorpio, emotions could cloud your mind. 
and influence your decision making. Even though you're a water sign, where water signs are all about feelings, you're the one out of the three that can really handle emotions and when necessary hold them back. Mercury moving through Aquarius isn't usually a sign of being emotionally clouded, but for you there could be this battle between feeling all the feelings intensely and trying to think your way logically through them. If your mental faculties are less sharp, it's just because your emotional senses are raised up, which can be great for getting into the senses, being in your body and experiencing life across a complete spectrum of sensory perception. Have massages, sleep longer, stretch. But if there are some buried issues, particularly to do with family matters, then they rise up, however they rise up, and they demand that you handle them these next few weeks. This could be some kind of ending within the family or something that needs to be final. That could be the main theme. And there's likely someone, a partner or a best friend or a very close associate of some kind, who can offer love and support during any emotional wobbles. Or they just generally help you in seeing the brighter side of life with their lovely energy. A general increase in cooperation is a saving grace this week. And if you need that little bit more in the way of relief, you may want to get into the gym and hit a few rounds on a punch bag. Or do some shadow boxing at home if equipment is not accessible. This could be particularly helpful in letting out stress that could come from sudden changes in your professional life. These changes are kind of leaning towards being undesirable. There could be something that impedes your career or at least your happiness within it. There could be problems that surface in the workplace or just greater friction between you and your managers or higher ups. Your display of independence is what could ruffle some feathers. And in astrology, the axis of your professional life is connected to your home life directly. So the answers to one often fall in the space of the other. The new moon in Aquarius offers you this one last chance at dealing something in your home and family realm or your workspace. And the result, if you do handle things head on, is the solid foundation of a comfortable private life. This could be legitimately handling the foundations of a home, like the structure, or the foundations of relationships between family members. Either of these could need some work. There's a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. If you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast episode each month, then this book is crafted with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximise your efforts in synchrony. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Taurus. That's the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Scorpio. And it details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there's the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. This happens three months before birth during the final trimester. For you, this sign is Leo. And listening to this horoscope gives a more behind the scenes kind of view of what's happening for you. And if you know your rising sign, then that is going to be the more precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below. Plug in your birth date and time. It'll let you know your rising sign. And you can listen to that horoscope too. This week for Sagittarius, your mind races at an accelerated pace, making it a challenge to slow down and catch your thoughts. Your brain and its perceptions are in this constant motion, swiftly moving from one idea to the next. So it's not an ideal phase for undertaking kind of extensive, detail-oriented or long-term projects. And take note of this because the tendency to rush through something and miss a step or two is there. And if you're trying not to make mistakes, then you might want to keep that on your mind. If you're studying something, take frequent breaks. That's absolutely vital. Or else you may not retain much of what you're putting in. If you can, throw your mind into a tech direction. Learn editing, digital marketing, game development, or just master a new piece of software for work or personal use. Another point this week is you could receive more calls and texts from people who just want to have catch-up conversations that wind up taking longer than you expect them to. Secrets may also come out this week, whether these are secrets that you've been holding in or secrets that someone else lets slip to you. This is an awesome time for improving your diet, especially cleaning up your intake of sugar and also in the direction of balancing electrolytes, which is a Uranus thing. I will link my favourite electrolyte supplement below. It took me about four years to find one that didn't have any nasty stuff in and also had the ideal ratio of minerals to one another, saving you four years of research and experimenting. So that link is below, and if you use it, you get a free package, and so do I. 
in your recreational, fun or romantic world. Things are not particularly heightened. And this isn't a bad thing. It doesn't mean boring. This is more like a stabilizing period. So less excessiveness in any of those spaces isn't you missing out. It's you creating more abundance and activity in another area of your life. There are lots of free things to do for fun. And if playing your favorite music can be included as part of that, then you're off to a good start. Any dogmatic or overly rigid beliefs that you hold will come up for evaluation. There could be some convictions where it comes to work and health. For example, you might think that fruit is amazing only to find out that you can also overdo that, even being the most natural of sweet treats. Or you might think that the best way to work is by physically going out and doing something active and coming home at the end of the day, only to find out that there are people mastering professions from in front of a computer screen spending something like three to four hours and then enjoying the rest of their time leisurely. If you choose to stick with outdated mindsets of lots of fruit and working hard, then you might find some shocking developments like sugar and insulin issues in your body, weight fluctuations from inconsistent glycemic processes, and also extreme tiredness from working traditionally hard. If you choose to explore food intake that is based on actual mineral and sugar needs, or you explore a profession that can be classified as working smart and not hard, then you might be right at the point of creating a totally new experience of life that feels luxurious to you. The new moon in Aquarius, being the last resort or last attempt at something, will require you to take a short course in order to support these new developments. And emphasis is on the course or educational path being short. This is like four to six week courses that are preferred over three year committed degrees. This could also be following doctors and health professionals on social media that resonate with you, that you connect with. And in both cases, whatever your interest is, it's not likely to be a fresh one. This could be something that you visited before to study, but couldn't quite grasp. Or it's a dietary practice that you tried previously, but you went too far with. Balance is key in learning how to give these things one last shot. There's a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. And if you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast episode each month, then this book is crafted with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximize your efforts in synchrony. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Gemini. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Sagittarius and it details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there is the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate which happens three months before birth, during the final trimester. For you, this sign is Virgo, and listening to that horoscope gives you a more behind-the-scenes views of what's happening for you. And if you know your rising sign, then that is going to be the more precisely oriented reading for you to check out. And I've included a calculator below for you to plug in your birthday and time, letting you know your rising sign, so that you can listen to that horoscope too. This week for Capricorn, your decision-making process becomes the most important or relied upon one in your family or group, your relationship or similar. You're taking the lead somehow, somewhere, so you will choose to do things much more deliberately and without being hurried. Even if there is a deadline, you'll complete it when you complete it, and that's that. Your ability to do things perfectly is not to be rushed, because the ideas you follow up and the choices you make have long-term impacts on yours and other people's future security and maybe income. So avoid rushed choices for the next three weeks so they don't wind up costing you handsomely somewhere else. Though this does indicate a little bit of a treat for yourself. It's like treat yourself energy where you may splurge on something. And that's best if it's an electronic item that boosts your efficiency or overall life experience and quality somehow. Your work environment may change, which could feel a little bit controlled and micromanaged. There's an element of autopilot that leaves little space for creative adjustment. And depending on what you do, this could help or it could hinder. One thing is showing up consistent. There may be conflicts of mind between co-workers somewhere, which could turn into some mental anguish or stress-related feelings in the body. Your recreational and romantic life could feel like the nicest part of your experience right now. Like if you're in a pairing, if you're in a couple, spending time together feels strong. And if you are not in a relationship, then one could be formed now or at least very soon. 
Even the relationships with your family or parents can experience some depth and extra loving spirit. You may get a kick out of going down the path of exploring your family tree. A financial hiccup related to your taxes or credit may show up thanks to the Uranus Sun stressful aspect. And if this isn't to do with your monetary matters, it might be something to do with business or marriage partners' monetary matters. In general, finances are a little bit unstable for up to five days. And with the new moon happening in your area of income, this kind of piggybacks off of that challenging aspect. Some new beginnings in your financial life are all about getting ducks in a row once and for all. The theme of things being the last attempt or last resort could be as simple as working on achieving your ultimate dream credit score, if that's important to you. Or it could be to do with developing financial management habits that mean all your future monetary matters are handled so intellectually and never cause you any fear, worry or annoyance again. There's a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. And if you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play, and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast episode each month, then this book is crafted with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximize your efforts in synchrony. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your earth sign, which is cancer. This is the sign planet earth was in when the sun was in Capricorn. And it details the more material experiences that are unfolding. And then there is a soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate, which happens three months before birth in the final trimester. For you, this sign is Libra. And listening to this horoscope gives a more behind the scenes view of what's happening for you. And if you know your rising sign, then that is going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. I've included a calculator below for you to plug in your birth date and time, and it'll let you know your rising sign so you can listen to that horoscope too. This week for Aquarius, your mental agility accelerates incredibly. Mercury is moving into your sign for 18-ish days, which leads you to approach life through a very intellectual lens. Your perspective on anything and everything is going to be about how does this thing work? Or it will be, how do I make this work? And with the tendency to think things through thoroughly, there's also a tendency to overanalyze too. So keep that in mind. Lots of people connecting with you. This might be people wishing you many happy returns as it's your season, or it could be any form of abundant communication. People could come to you for advice or you seek advice for yourself. There's this vision of jumping around all over the place, a scattered feeling, and making sure you stayed occupied with only the most fun, pleasant and important things is what's crucial. In romance or friendship, you could become aware of some manipulative energy, or you feel like someone you're close with at the moment may not be a permanent situation or that someone is holding on to a secret but if it's not coming out naturally you may choose to let go of any worry over that matter the main thing on your mind is really about a change of where you live and whether that's just moving your home locally or exploring further afield you may want more excitement or more luxury or more long-term potential in regards to your living arrangement and this could span anywhere from redecorating and remodeling to relocating your entire life altogether. Chat with a relative or sibling about this, or someone who feels like a brother or sister to you. Talking to maybe a relationship partner about it may not give you the most happy or true outlook on the subject of relocating. If you are not in a relationship currently, the concept of moving may quite possibly offer you the chance to find that perfect person. And the new moon in your sign supports that. This is the perfect time to turn over a new leaf to think about starting over, you're being drawn to new experiences for a reason. And with the theme being the last resort, this could be giving another shot at somewhere that you've already been before or feeling inspired to change your life course direction one more time to see what happens. There may be an element of redoing things within this. There is a link included below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. If you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast episode each month, the book is crafted with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximize your efforts in synchrony. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your earth sign, which is Leo. This is the sign planet earth was in when the sun was in Aquarius and it details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there is the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate, which happens around three months before birth during the final trimester. For you, this sign is Scorpio. And listening to this horoscope gives a more behind the scenes view of what's happening for you. If you know your rising sign, 
then that is going to be the most precisely oriented reading for you to check out. And I've included a calculator below for you to plug in your birth date and time. It'll let you know your rising sign so you can listen to that horoscope too. This week for Pisces, you do as your fellow water signs do and you kind of retreat into a shell. You may prefer to keep your thoughts and whatever is going on with you to yourself. You don't want to feel judged or punished or misunderstood by others. So it can kind of be easier to just stay quiet. Plus, your mind works better now in solitude. So if you feel reluctant to share your opinions, even with your closest people and loved ones, don't be hard on yourself about it. This also gives you a chance to say less and listen more, where you might learn something about someone else that you didn't previously know. This is a time of reflection, looking back on past issues, getting rid of mental baggage, and clearing your mind so you can take a fresh outlook on things. And it may be most prominent between you and family members, This could be where the most imbalance is currently. There could also be a little bit of a pest problem at home or the feeling that your stuff is being moved and messed with by someone in the house who isn't being considerate of your preferred organisation. So if you need to get out of the house occasionally, follow that urge. While you're out and about, you could run into someone that brightens your day or your entire week. It may even result in an offering or invitation that improves your work horizon which is most relevant if you're looking for a more fitting job. And if you're not, it could just gently let you know of more options that are open to you. This may be particularly enticing or dreamy if the options come with the promise of more income. That's never a bad thing to hear. Just be careful you're not being sold a fantasy or a fallacy by someone. Get a good, accurate picture of the prospect first by checking it out and following it up before getting too involved and excited. There may be ongoing changes in your current work realm, unexpected layoffs, less work, someone pinching pennies that has some kind of trickle down effect on your job. And you might want to speak up about it, but given that you're more frequently lost for words this week, you may just grin and bear it, which isn't a terrible option as after around five days, things actually become more level or at least more clear. The biggest thing really to point out this week is to do with your health. Anything that is limiting you or preventing you from being yourself. Anything that's full of mean energy, bullying, or similar. No matter whether those actions are actually being put upon you, or coming from you, then wellness symptoms could show up to let you know that something needs to change. One of the best first places to look could be your diet. Bad habits in that space are pretty easy to see, even if you don't want to admit it. Start with cleaning up habits that you know you should be a little better with, things like sugar, alcohol, fried foods, or making sure that you're not skipping meals and see how your mental well-being improves. There may be something you've been nigglingly aware of that others, like family, friends, or even a doctor, have offered advice on, but you chose to ignore because it didn't fit your desires at the time. The new moon in Aquarius offering one last chance at something is kind of a last resort effort to get your work and wellness on track. And these two parts of the chart are connected, which is why changing your diet could change the experience of your profession. You can't have one improve and balance out without that happening to the other. Both need to be in good standing. So if work life is weird, fix your daily habits, your routines and your diet. And if your health is beginning to wobble, then consider whether work is a stressor on your mental and physical self with the view to changing it. There's a link below about the specifics of each moon manifesting cycle for 2024. If you feel ready to align with the lunar forces at play and you don't want to wait for the new moon podcast episode each month, then this book is created with a vision of preparing you ahead of time so you can maximize your efforts in synchrony. And as always, make sure to check out the horoscope for your Earth sign, which is Virgo. This is the sign planet Earth was in when the sun was in Pisces and it details the more material experiences unfolding. And then there is the soul sign, which is said to be when your soul decided it was going to incarnate. And this happens around three months before birth, which is the final trimester. For you, this sign is Sagittarius. And listening to this horoscope gives you a more behind the scenes view of what's happening for you. And if you do know your rising sign, then this is going to be the most precise reading for you. If you don't, I've included a calculator below for you to plug in your birth date and time. It'll let you know your rising sign so you can check out that horoscope too. That's it for this week's episode. Next week's show is all about 
more Aquarius energy as Mars moves into the sign and Venus makes the very same shift too. There is a gentleness in relationships plus a motivational shove towards future passions but in a good way and you won't want to miss this episode to find out the make or break point that arrives by the end of the week. Follow the show to stay up to date or share the show if you have friends you think may benefit from the information and have a great week until next time. Bye.